Yeah, so welcome to my, uh, I guess, my, my Res45 vlog. You know, I mentioned I was going to vlog every day, and technically it's day, what, minus one or zero, I guess, depending on how you count. But uh, I figure, why not get started now? Uh, you know, just do a, a dry run to check my levels, make sure everything's functional, because I'd hate to get to tomorrow, try and sit down and do this when I have limited time, and then realize, oh no, everything doesn't work. So, um, so yeah, so here I am. And... Um, Oddly enough, I, uh, I I don't really know what to talk about today. I, I do have a bunch of content planned for you know the the duration of the forty five days, so I don't want to burn through any of those topics yet. But um, you know, if you guys have stuff that you that you'd like me to talk about, uh, I, I know like I get requests from you know questions, uh, discussion topics, whether it's about con ed or training or anything in general. You know, definitely hit me up because um, as I've said a bunch of times, and as some of you guys know. Um, me from my professional life, I you know used to be an interaction designer, used to be a UX designer, so I love to interact with folks. So yeah, please hit me up, and I'd love to I'd love to make this more of a two way street. Um, so how about since it's since we're what two days into the new year, and I guess that's what we're all talking about right now. Let's let's talk about that. Let's let's talk about uh, let's talk about the new year. Let's talk about how your uh, how you are approaching, I guess, uh, the new year, either within or without the context of the the, the interesting year we just had, right? Uh, I, th I think there's a, definitely a couple ways you could look at that. You know, you could look at it as like, you know, oh my God, 2020 was was a wreck, and uh, you know, I want 2021 to be better. Or you know, you could look at it as like, well, it's just another year, and you know, I'm gonna go forward into the into the next year, into this next year kind of kind of absent you know what just happened um so yeah i'd love to hear from from folks you know i'd love to hear from you guys what kind of what your take on that um to be honest i'm somewhere in the middle you know i'm not i i definitely am not one of those people who's gonna say yeah 2020 was my best year ever and i did amazing things because to be honest i mean i, I guess i kind of did you know in, in the professional space um you know my job definitely took off i think i was uh, not to polish my own brass too much, but I, I think I, I was able to do some pretty decent work. I think uh, hopefully I, I kind of cemented myself, at least for now, as a valuable asset to the company, which, you know, to me is important. Um, I, I like to, whether it's, you know, whether it's my my own work or it's work I'm doing for somebody paid, you know, I like to, I like to do good work, you know, call that work ethic, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, there were, there were some other interesting things that on a pseudo professional level, I think you guys have heard me talk about the uh, the fitness startup that uh, that I've that I've co-founded with a couple couple now friends um, you know one 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 person I've known for a while uh, Sam Pogue you know used to be of, of X on it and now and True Coach and and now of several other things that are about to pop off for him this year fame and then a couple other guys who uh, I'm I'm very happy to know now uh, John and Carlos but um, yeah so that's been that that's been kind of a fun little side thing so I would definitely say that. In the professional sense, 2020 was great. You know, made made a lot of money, made a lot of good connections, got some projects off the ground, um, and I'm pretty happy about that. And you know, if I were to if I were to make a resolution about uh, 2021, which which I, I actually which I actually do, I actually make uh, New Year's resolutions, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But I actually like to make New Year's resolutions, and if I were to make um, <clears throat> you know again resolutions for 2021, I would say. At my day job, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to continue to explore opportunities within the company in the space that I'm in. I, I realize that I really enjoy kind of this marketing sort of this this sales work that I'm doing, working with customers, working um, in the customer space, getting to getting to actually talk to customers, be on the road. Well, not so much last year, which is a shame because that was my favorite part of the job was getting to travel. But um, ho hopefully, we'll get back to that at some point, and hopefully, we will be absent vaccine passports, which I think is an absolutely a horrible idea, but who knows? What, whatever. That's beyond my control. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think I think there's other opportunities for that. So I'm definitely interested in that. Um, as far as uh, you know, the choice point. Obviously, it you know we've hooked, we've connected with some great mentors. We're starting to look at funding opportunities now, and so I think pressing on, really, really finding out kind of what the problem we're trying to solve for this first iteration of the company is. I, I think is is kind of sort of my resolution there because on the technology side you know i feel really comfortable you know we've got we, we've been able to kind of stand up some of the initial pillars that we talked about uh, some of the things that we wanted to put into our our digital experience we'll call it and those are looking really good so 
Yeah, so I'm, you know, we're in an interesting place there, and now, now, uh, now the real work begins. Uh, we'll, we'll put it that way. Um, but moving away from that, because this is what you guys are here to hear me talk about, you know, fitness and training, and which is cool. I like talking about that too. I, I gotta say, last year was not a bumper year, and and that was really hard because, and, and I'll admit, you know, I, I yeah, I, I, you know, some of you guys who follow me on Instagram, you know, notice I, I got a little snarky about some things and. You know, I, I took some things personally because even though it totally wasn't, that was just me, you know, blowing myself up, you know, I mean, little narcissism there. But, you know, the reality is, you know, I, I had a lot of good momentum coming into 2020. You know, I lost a lot of weight at the end of 2019 with, uh, with the idea of coming into 2020 to, uh, you know, hit, hit some jujitsu tournaments, you know, hit a lot of jujitsu tournaments because um, that's really, that's really kind of just something I want to do for a bunch of different reasons. And, you know, I was two months back into training and it all, you know, it all went away. You know, gyms got shut down. <clears throat> uh, jiu-jitsu, of course. I mean, jiu-jitsu is, if, if you believe whatever, um, you know, that's probably the worst thing you could be doing in, in, in the climate that we're told we're in, right? So, um, so of course, that had to go away, quote unquote. Um, and uh, I... I took that really hard, you know? I mean, I'm one of those people who, you know, I don't mind sort of identifying with the fact that I'm a gym guy and I'm a jujitsu guy and to not have those pieces of, essentially pieces of my identity anymore, that really sucks. And, you know, the reality is, yeah, you know, some of you guys saw I kind of pivoted on the training side and started doing more band and more body work stuff, more body weight, sorry, stuff. But that, I mean, I didn't love doing that, you know? I mean, I, I love being in the gym and not 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 just for like, not just because I like throwing around big weights, but there's just things you can do with, you know, equipment in the gym that I like doing that I just don't have the gear for. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love all my unconventional stuff. You know, I love my maces and clubs and, you know, I love the K3 and all that, all the other stuff I do. But that, that to me is kind of like, uh, that, that's kind of the accent, right? That's the, that's the salt, you know, uh, on, on my, um, <clears throat> my real training. So it's actually interesting that, um, you know, I, I'm actually going to be doing a lot of unconventional work for Rise 45 because I, I personally don't think, you know, gyms are going to be open anytime soon in Washington state. Um, I, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, it seems the only thing they care about here is the number of cases. And even though, you know, there's data that shows whatever and yeah, it, it's okay. I'm, I'm not going to go, go too far down that rabbit hole because, because then people are going to be adding me about it. And I, that's just not what I want to talk about. Um, so getting, getting back on track, uh, you know, what, what I was trying to say is that it's really interesting to think about where, what kind of resolution I want to make for 2021 fitness wise, because ultimately, you know, I think about the time and money and effort I put into like traveling for continuing ed. I could, I could just shift that over to comp to jujitsu tournaments. Right. And not to, I'm just going to sound like a jerk and say this. It, it's, it's not a big deal for me to travel to, uh, you know, for, oh, to travel for a weekend and then, you know, be on the mats for 30 seconds. I, I don't mind that. I mean, I, you know, one of the plans I had kind of set out when all this stuff started was that I wanted to travel a little more and look, look at new areas to maybe, maybe move to, maybe settle in. So that's definitely still uh, something I'm on track for. And that's just, you know, why, why, why not, you know, why not, um, why not get back onto that? I mean, you know, there, obviously there are parts of the country that are handling things in a much more sanguine and, and I think balanced way than we are here on the West Coast. Um, for whatever reason that is, you know, you can you, you can at me about why you think that is. I have my own opinions, but again, we're not going to get into that. So, you know, why not keep doing that? And um, so, so that's definitely like the one one thing I think I'm going to say. You know, that's that's something I could just pick right, you know, pick up and keep doing. Um, you know, there are definitely ways I can train, you know, jujitsu too, even though that's quote unquote illegal. You know, it's funny. I, I keep, I keep thinking about that. You know, I keep, it's a, uh, one of my guilty pleasure movies is Demolition Man. And, you know, combat sports have been outlawed because they're, you know, they're, they're not good for you, quote unquote, which I think we all know is BS. But uh, that's one of those things where you're like, wow, I never thought I'd live that to, I, I never thought I'd live to see that be the case. And uh, <laughs> ain't that a B? But uh, here we are. Um, thank, again, like I said, thankfully, that's not the whole country. So, you know, what, whatever has to happen has to happen. Um, so there's that. And then um, I, I guess, you know, on, on, as far as training goes, you know, that's, that's one of the reasons I wanted to do Rise 45 was, you know, this is something, you know, this is something I, if, if I'm going to say, I, if I'm going to say I'm going to do a fitness challenge, like, well, you kind of have to figure out how to do it, right? And 
like I said, even though I, I sort of enjoy the unconventional stuff, I like training with maces and clubs. Um, I, I've never really done, it's never been like my staple training, right? So I figure why not just put myself in a situation where I have to do that and get over whatever blocks I have about that. And it's not that I think it's not effective. I mean, cause I know that's not true. It's just, you know, there's other things I like doing. So maybe, like I said, maybe it's just time to, time to cleanse and retrain my palate a bit, right? So, so that's that. And um, yeah, and you know, I think everything I've laid out there is, is, is pretty achievable. And that's kind of the way I like to focus on New Year's resolutions. And I'm not one of these people who's going to sit there and tell you like, ah, New Year's resolutions are total BS because for whatever reason, you know, some people are like, oh, well, it's just an arbitrary man-made social construct date on a calendar. Why does that matter? Or some people are like, well, you know, most people fail at their New Year's resolutions for, for valid reasons, right? I mean, I don't mean to down on that because yeah, you know, a lot of people don't have a good, well, not good, don't have a, uh, what's the word? Good, um, let's just, well, let's say effective. They don't, they don't have an, an effective framework for, for setting down these, you know, these little goals or resolutions. And the way I like to look at it is, uh, and again, like I said, I'd love to hear how you guys approach this, but the way I like to look at it is, you know, you take, take, um, you know, take, take, set a, set a big goal, right. And then every year, maybe instead of a resolution, let's use the term landmark, I guess, or, you know, uh, or a little accountability, you know, make, make the year an accountability point. Right. So, um, you know, for example, I made a post about this a little while ago on Instagram about, you know, some of the results of the work I've, I've done with, a you know, one of our co-founders, Choice Point, John Baker, who's our, uh, who, you know, who's our kind of our, I guess, our chief scientist. Um, I'm not sure what, what, what his title is. Sam helped me out there. But, um, and when I realized that, Hey, uh, I want to, you know, if I'm going to do anything in the fitness world, well, I want to teach, I want to run a jujitsu program someday. So, you know, that's a big goal. And that's the kind of thing that, you know, you can set smaller goals in at, you know, different intervals, whether that's, you know, okay, this year, like I said, uh, you know, one, I want to build up my competition resume. And then at some point I want to like figure out how to maybe even, you know, apprentice under, under my coach. I mean, obviously that's for many, that that's not for a while. I mean, I need to just be around first and like, you know, and be accountable and show that like, Hey, I'm serious about this. So, but you know, those are all, but, but even within there, you know, I could, you know, you could, I could, I could set, set smaller goals. Like, okay, like I want to train X times a week. And within that I can say, okay, I want to, I want to train certain things when I'm training, you know, or there's certain things I want to hit. And you know, uh, this, this, uh, what basically, you know, if, if you're following and you, you're probably getting what I'm doing, it's just, you know, it, it, it's, it's basically like just kind of, kind of chopping things down. And that's, that's something that I'm sure <clears throat> we've all heard. Um, but the way I, I've heard it expressed best, uh, is actually from my Andy Stumpf, uh, who runs, I would say probably my, uh, maybe my second or tied for first place favorite podcast. I think, I think it's toss up between Mark Bell's power project and cleared hot. If it comes to favorite podcasts, which are both fabulous podcasts, you should definitely listen to them. But you know, he, he likes to say like when he was a seal instructor, or even when he was going through the training, you know, he was going through training as a, as a candidate, you know, he, he said, he likes to say that it's all about keeping your world as small as possible, which is weird, right? Because we're, because we're, we're taught that like, at least conventional wisdom, or at least out here, is that like, that's not the way to go. You know, you're supposed to think big and, and, you know, no boundaries and, you know, you know I, I don't know, whatever platitudes people say, but, but it really makes sense, right? I mean, because the way he explains it, if, it, you know, if you think about, you know, take something that's designed to just destroy you, just designed to weed people out, like, like SEAL training. If, if you're just thinking about, you know, all however many days or, or even like hell week, right? If you're, if you're just thinking about like how hard that seven days is going to be, man, you're beat already. But, you know, the way he explains it is like, you know, just think about getting through the end of the day. Okay. Now think about just getting through the next, what they call a training evolution. Okay. Now think about just getting through the first part of that. Right. And I think that's a great way to really look at things, you know, and I, I, I disagree with people who say like, oh, that's not the same as making a resolution. It, it kind of is, right? I mean, that's at some point we're just we're just banding semantics. So I don't, you know, I, I don't think that's that's definitely the way to go. But you know, that's I, th I think that's gonna be kind of the point of this. And I know I'm, I've run a little long here. I'm I'm coming up on like about 15 minutes, and not that I've set a, um, not that I've set a uh, a time on these or a time limit, but uh, you know. I don't care. Whatever. Okay. Total, total, total side ran. I'm not doing this for the algorithm. I'm not doing this for anything. I, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to say what I got to say. So point being that, um, 
you know, I think that is a great way to set resolutions is, you know, if you've got a big goal, if you've got somewhere you're trying to be, you know, use, you know, use the year as a boundary to, to check in and maybe refocus or maybe, or maybe just say, Hey, you know, I, I didn't, maybe I didn't finish. I didn't, I didn't achieve everything that I said I was going to do last year, but I'm, but I'm, I've got good momentum and I'm still on track to complete those tasks. Right. So maybe your resolution for these is just, is just to, to keep on keeping on. Right. And, um, yeah, I think I think that's kind of kind of where I'm going to leave it because that's sort of that's definitely where I am. It's just you know, is keep on keeping on, right? So I mean, I, I had things I wanted to do last year. Nothing is keeping me from doing them this year. I mean, hopefully, um, I'm not going to use the term new normal because I think that's a horrible term, and I don't think that's where we I, I don't think that's where we're going to end up. But um, ho- hope, let's just say hopefully, I think we've settled into some better patterns and what's going to happen is going to happen. So I think, um, yeah, I think, think I've got a good spot to do what I'm going to do. And that's it. So like I said, I'd love to hear how you guys are handling this. And yeah, uh, thanks for joining me. Tune in tomorrow for the official start of Rise 45. And uh, that's what I got. Cheers.